TitleMatchNetwork.com. Any memories of uh, wrestling a very young Ric Flair around 1973? Oh, and, yes. Yeah. Did you see the potential in Ric back then? You bet. You bet. Yeah, I did. And and uh, he uh, he was big, uh, brother. He was 300 pounds and and uh, people dark hair and. Uh, you know, he was uh, looked like more like Dusty Rhodes or Dick the Bruiser because he was uh, just trying to get so big. And that's the the way he went that way. I, I'm sure steroids and training and did it all, you know. And but but but, uh, uh, you know, later, of course, then he trimmed down and d d blonde hair and, right. robe and became, you know, what he who, you know, one of the icons, of course. But, but yeah, yes, uh, um, he came out of Ganya School and, and um, uh, I wrestled him many times in amphitheater. And, and um, they would bring some of the younger boys to Hammond, Indiana, uh, in Annapolis. So I worked with him quite a bit there as he started. You also teamed, I believe, with Harley in St. Louis around uh, 1974 at the Chase. Do you remember that? Oh, I do. Yeah. I do, brother. Yeah, it, it was it was uh, re really uh, Harley... Uh, was such a uh, um, you know uh, uh, idol man that uh, uh, over so strong and and so solid you know and uh, um, uh, you know I, I had a complete different thing but uh, you know you know you you, you got to know what to do and when to do and 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 uh, these guys were just man I I just I just marveled at his stuff you know and just let him do his stuff and. And 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 I, man, I just kicked back, and you know, anytime you work, like when I was, with, I learned that from Strongbow, you know, uh, because if you um, uh, if you try to outshine these guys, bro brother, are you kidding? You, you first of all, you're not going to do it. Right. You're just a young kid, Bob, 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 and I knew that. So so I let them do the thing and and I just you know I just scoop up what's left and get my little stuff in and 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 uh, they see that I mean I mean because they know what to do I mean I go out there and pick up a cheer hey strong boy he'll pick up a table he knows how to get over whatever I do right you know and, and so I was I didn't wouldn't do it even if I could I it, you know just like with, with, with Harley or or anybody and, and I couldn't I mean you can't get over them guys and yeah I wouldn't do it anyway I was just honored to be you know part of the team and uh yeah you know even just for a night you know you got to work a little bit with uh teaming up with Johnny you, you worked in St. Louis against Pat O'Connor and Bobo Brazil as well too right you bet yeah. oh, Bobo Bobo was a oh he was a master man and, and just so so cool man he you know he'd come out boy you know just dancing and and you you know uh a, a lost art is is uh a lot of the old timers they, they chant they, they used to get a rhythm going you know and and, and all he would all night during the match, ha cha cha, ha cha cha, ha cha cha. Ha, that's all he would do. He'd say, ha cha cha, you know, and and different 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 chants, and you you know so many things like like Carney, you know, we we talk or Carney and and uh, you, you know and uh, you I I never talked too much, but I understood because uh, the old timers would and and so so they call uh, the the people marks that uh, yeah, so they wouldn't understand. <laughs> yeah. And 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 um, so so you know what we got was from the carnival. You know um, all of our stuff like uh, smiles, like uh, baby face, heels. This is all carnival talk. You know, and and they talk carny uh, in front of people, uh, in front of each other, in front of people, and they wouldn't understand. And it's sort of like a pig Latin, or or you know more or less than. You know, and uh, yeah, uh, but, but uh, you know, like what time is we said with uh, you know whatever, and 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 they would they would shoot that out, but uh, they you wouldn't know, you know. Yeah, yeah. You actually uh, you finished up with uh, AWA and WWA, and you headed back to WWF. At this period of time, you got the tag belts on your first night in. Uh, how did WWWF change at all since the, your very first run? Was it different for you the second time in? No, no, not at all, not at all, and and uh, you know it was a blessing uh, again, uh, you know, um, uh, to to uh, just uh, when I left, uh, Vince McMahon Senior told me, uh, he says, Jimmy, you uh, handle yourself uh, 
like a gentleman. Um, we, we, uh, everybody uh, enjoyed you here. I, I was there 15 months. He, and he says, um, um, I want you back uh, every four years. And while he was living, I went back uh, basically every four years. Uh, I was there like, like 70, 71. And then I came back 74. Then I came back 78 uh, uh, with the uh, gentleman, Jerry, right. the six man. And, and, and um, so he, whatever, you, whatever he says is gold. Yeah. Take it to the bank. I was back every four years. You worked and, with Lou when you went back, right? Albano was your manager? Captain, yeah. 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 Um, um, uh, it, it was, uh, the Grand Wizard had my, my, uh, uh, you know, contract, you know, and he, 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 Lou wanted to buy it from him or they traded something or whatever the deal, yeah, because I came in with uh, Johnny. And, and uh, so, so uh, Johnny, uh, 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 Captain Lou Bano managed Johnny and myself, yeah.